How to purge your models? Find out what's coming up next. Hi, welcome back guys to another episode of Mike Matoris Photography. Today is part two of my portrait tutorial. And today we're going to talk about posing your models. So the first struggle I found when I started photography is there's no real guide out there how to pose a model. And it's quite frustrating if you have no idea how to do it, even though it's actually after you've done it quite simple, there's just a certain number of things you have to look at. It's not really posing, it's more, tell it's more about telling a story. And to be honest, I wish I knew a little bit more about it today as well, but it's, it's a growing thing at the end of the day. You just need to keep on practicing, keep on doing, and just find what works for you. Find what actually works for your style and not just a basic portrait guide. But today I'm going to share with you my quick and easy tips of what to look for while posing your model. So today we're going to look at four different types of photos for models. It is the full body which will be the feet to the head completely in the photo. Then number two will be just above the knees and number three will be around the midsection, the waistline. Number four will be the extreme close-up of the face and I'm going to show you few little tips and tricks what to look for when taking these photos and I'm going to take you through each and every one of them the full body, the above the knee, the waist and the face. So without further ado let's get started and meet our model. So today's model is the lovely Nina Yubad. Um, she's going to help me just demonstrate the little tips and tricks and how to take a photo of a model and uh, it's just going to be some fun, just going to be some very simple and easy stuff getting you started at home. Maybe things you know already, maybe things you don't know. but. I hope this helps you. <laughs> um, number one when you're looking at taking pictures of a model is they need to look thin. Like nobody wants to look fat in their own photos and so the big thing I find is never ever square them off in a photo. Make them stand a little bit sideways when looking at the photo. Maybe out of 45 towards the camera making their body point away from the camera and not straight onto the camera. This helps thin the model out, makes them look a little bit skinnier in photos and uh, it helps a lot with lighting because you get to choose which side of the photo you want to light, if you want to see which detail you want to see. Secondly, you want to look at the hands. You don't want the hands to look dangling down or they, you don't want them to stand in an awkward position making it look like she's got some deformities going on in the, that photo. You kind of want them to be natural, very comfortable, maybe on the hip or in the pockets or maybe just slightly <coughs> just like uh, slightly cupping a one elbow or holding a holding a chin, something like that. Just giving it that nice lines, just making the, making the photo feel nice and flowy and not like there's sharp angles everywhere. You want a nice flowy style photo. Another thing is what you want to do is do you want to look at the face? The face I feel is one of the big things that you want to look at especially with lighting because lighting can make the face look ugly or, or you can make the face look funny or give that panda eyes and hard, harsh daylight so you really want to pay attention to the face. The rest of the body can nearly get away with that but the face will always show some imperfections in your photo. So for the face you can choose choose what suits the lighting best and also what will suit the story best. The body is very basic when you have to look at getting a photo done. They want to look thin, they want to not look weird, they don't want to look strange. So there's a few basic things but the face needs to tell a story. The face can't just, there's certain ways you can pose a face but the face needs to show some emotion what you're trying to convey in the photo. So the face is a very important thing to look at when you're posing it. Looking straight on to the camera is a very powerful look that is more your business look, that is, I'm in charge, I do my thing, I am the boss. Straight on will always give the person in the photo look like the, uh, looking like they have a lot of power. And that is a fantastic, it's dramatic, it is an awesome style of photo, I love doing that in my photo as well. And it just creates another different type of atmosphere, it's, it shows confidence in your model. Secondly, you can make them look at a 45 degree angle off. I prefer making them maybe look towards something that is somewhere, maybe choosing an object for them to focus on because it makes it easier than just looking somewhere into the distance. It makes it feel more real. It makes it feel, it makes it feel like there's something there. Even if, it's, if you're in studio, if it's a pole somewhere, make them look at something. It 
conveys reality better. Up to number two, the above the knee shot. When you're taking these type of photos, you want to make sure if you're going to crop into the model or the, per the person you're taking the portrait of, you never want to cut the image at a limb because it looks like they've lost that limb. You want to always cut maybe slightly above it or slightly below it. So if you're aiming to crop in closer and not include the feet, I suggest you either look below the knee or above the knee but never on the knee. You want to see that you never want to cut off a limb at the joint because it looks really strange in photos. And for these type of things is for these type of photos you don't always have to worry mostly about having the model be straight on because it because that will be the type of photo you're taking is a very close up photo and it will also be more natural looking, it will be more as our eyes perceive it so you'll actually see the shape of the body better, they won't look fat or thin or anything, it will, it will suit, the model will be, the model will look fine in the photo and um, but and but still if you are going to do that maybe always try the 45 rule is a fantastic rule it always makes the models look fantastic having them a little bit offset to the camera not looking not having the body looking straight at the camera having the body looking a little bit more off to the side it always makes the model look good it's a really good rule to keep in all of these types of photos number two just above the knee you always also want to pay attention to the hands if her hands are hanging by her side, they can be cut off at the fingers or maybe at the wrist depending on, um, on the type of shot you're taking. Always pay attention because it can make the photo look extremely weird and unprofessional and that is a big problem, a problem if you're trying to look professional as a photographer. I prefer telling them to put their hands in their pockets because it always gives that nice relaxed look. You, it, it makes them look more natural ask the model to do something they feel is comfortable ask the model to like put their hands in the pocket just do something they would normally do never make a model do something that more look that that is unnatural to them because it will come up in the photo even if it makes even if it makes it look cool it will come up in the photo as unnatural and uncomfortable to the model it's an awesome style of type of photo i always like taking above the knee shots that you just have so much more room to play with as a story and you can also minimize the amount of clutter in your photo. If you're trying to have a nice clean photo, these are a really good style of photo to take because it will really minimize the clutter but allow story to still come through. I like, and I'm a big fan of having stories in my photo, having the photo have a theme. So number three, the above the waist shot. The above the waist shot is more used in your corporate world or the school pictures or something like that. It's a, it's a more uh, professional looking shot it's it's not really meant to be modelly even though it can be used modelly it's just meant to have that nice profile shot of who you're dealing with it's got that ID look that this is the person you're looking at this is the this is what they look like you can tell somebody okay they look thin and they look thin they look this way they look you know it's the ID type shot that this is the person shot but also, nonetheless, you can make an awesome model shot out of it because it's it's meant to show a profile portfolio, and a lot of models' portfolios consist out of really good profile shots. So if you're looking at doing one of these type of photos, um, here is where I'd say you can still have a straight-on photo. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Here, the detail will be fine, and straight-ons will look powerful and in these type of photos because you, you're focusing on the person they will look very powerful in this type of photo I'd also say not a full 45 degree angle maybe like um, a 20 would also look fantastic in this photo just that slightly off off straight type of shot For this one hands are important because you're cropping up so high arms will be cut off so if you're looking at doing arms Pay attention to the arms, same rule applies, never cut off the arms at the limbs. So rather cut off between the wrist and the elbow, that is still fine. But if you can avoid cutting off their hands, try it. So make the model maybe cross their arms and hold their face or have their hands a little bit higher. Or if you're going to crop them, crop them off. Maybe have folded arms. Pay attention to where you're cropping is what I'm trying to say. Don't cut off on the joints. Yeah, again, face is going to be very important because that's going to be the, one of the main focuses in your in your shot because it's now getting very close up, and um, 
make sure that the detail, uh, make sure that the focus point is on the eye in this type of photo because this one you will definitely see if you're out of focus. Now, for the, fir uh, for the final one, the full close-up shot of the face. These ones, definitely ID type photos, straight on, straight on to the side, really doesn't matter, it depends on the feel of your photo again. Um, I'd always say, if you're going to look at these type of photos, try never have the model completely looking at the photo. It will always look better if the model's looking off to the side because it gives that dream feel. But also, depending on your model, what she wants. If she wants a full face, pay attention. A full face, is have, a full face must be in there. You can get creative and have a little bit off to the side. You can keep this in mind, if a model is looking straight at the camera, they're looking straight at the, at the person looking at the photo. So they are making eye contact at all times to the person looking at the photo. It can make a photo uncomfortable, so you also can tell your model that maybe look a little bit off to the side, maybe a little bit off to the side while looking at the camera, but having the face dead center to the camera makes people feel like the photo is watching them. Big thing, pay attention to where you're taking the photo from. Make sure that the limbs don't look funny. Hands, make, make sure that the hands are comfortable. Hands can show people uncomfortability in a photo. So if you're going to take a photo, always pay attention to the hands. Keep to the 45 rule. The 45 rule makes people look skinny. It's a really good rule to keep. Always have, try always keep your model a little bit off center to the camera, showing off that nice body. I hope you guys enjoyed this segment. It is part two of my three part series. If you haven't seen part one yet, Go check it out, we talk about lighting and my favorite lighting equipment for portraiture. And part 3 will be coming soon, where we'll take all of this knowledge and I'll actually take you guys through an entire shoot. Showing you guys how I get the model comfortable and how I get the model to pose for me in certain ways. Showing you guys a little bit more in detail about the posing. I'm not giving you guys a little rundown on how to pose a model, but actually taking you guys step by step of how to, how to take a portraiture. So if you guys aren't subscribed yet, Press that button down below, you'll get more of this de uh, detailed type of posts. And press that thumbs up button. Likes are really important to us. It shows us what you guys like, what you guys enjoy. And so if you guys feel like you need to learn some more, get more personal detail from me, I have a Patreon site, the link will be below. And there I'll share personal detail, more focus towards you. You can contact me there and you get access to my awesome pre uh, presets and actions that I use in my photos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.